do a little more formatting here. If you want to format multiple cells in the same way, what you can do is you can hold the control button down as you click them. So I'm going to hold the control button down. I clicked on home price. I'm going to click on down payment dollar amount, the loan amount, as well as the payment. And I want all these to be formatted the same way. So maybe I'll choose accounting. And that is, uh, those are all now formatted properly. Now let's just make sure our interest rates are formatted the way we want. Interest and down payment percentages are formatted the way we want. Control click C9, control click C12, and I'll make this a percentage. The default percentage is no extra decimal places there, but I want them, so I will go up to the home ribbon under number format, and I'm going to increase the decimal because many interest rates uh, for loans might be a couple decimal places, so it'd be more helpful to see both those decimal places. One other thing we might choose to do is why don't we take um, the down payment, control click, interest rate, control click, and just holding that control button down, and let's center those. So we've done a few things. Another thing we might choose to do is let's highlight those cells that we would expect the user to put data into. So for example, the home price will be a user input. The down payment is user input. The down payment, the down payment percentage is a user input. Down payment dollar amount is a calculation, so we don't want the user to touch that, nor do we want them to touch the loan amount. The interest rate is a user input. The loan period in year is, years is a user input. But the others, uh, the payment, for example, is simply a calculation. So I'm going to change the color of those to maybe be uh, maybe a blue, uh, whatever color that is. Good. And that helps the user know, OK, these are the cells that we uh, will be inputting. Another thing that you, you'll learn later is how to maybe lock down these cells so that the user cannot touch them. They'll be protected. In my answer section, I'd like to highlight the column titles. And Control B is a hot key to bold. Control U is a hot key to underline. And then up here in alignment, I can hit center. And that makes that look a little bit nicer. Another thing we can do is on the answer section here, I'd like to highlight from A16 to E16. And maybe I'll change the color of that to be uh, this peach color. And I want to put a border around it, a thick border. So I'm under the home and put a thick border around that. And on the answer section, help, click on cell A16, Control B, Control U. And so that kind of gives a distinctive area so people know, OK, below this is answer section, above that is data section. So let's format the data section as well. Change that maybe to a different color. I'll put a box around it. And I will change the color. Maybe we'll do um, maybe the blue here. This is a type of blue. And uh, on the data section, Control B, Control U. And that just makes it a little more distinctive and might help uh, appear a little more professional. Now, before you finish up, you want to label it. So there's certain spreadsheet formatting rules of thumb, things that you should always do or that in your particular company they would expect you to do so that when this gets printed, people know what it's for, who prepared it, and even maybe uh, where they can go and find the file again. So we will call this the mortgage payment calculator and amortization schedule. We can say this is prepared by, and in my case, so it's be Kevin Kimball, and prepared on. Now, in this case, I'm just going to show you a function um, called the today function. I, I'm going into cell C3 and just type the word today in left parentheses, right parentheses, and that gives you today's date. So actually, tomorrow when you open this up, it'll show that it's prepared on that day. Um, but just so you know that function, it's kind of a useful function. Another thing that's useful is you type in the purpose. So, for example, the purpose of this worksheet is to compute the payment for a mortgage at a specified rate for a specified 
period. And we'll, I'm going to click right before payment, and we'll call this the fixed payment. And if I hit enter, you see that extends beyond the range that I would be expecting to uh, print out. So what you can do is you can actually merge these cells. So I'm going to hold the shift button down and move over to cell E4. And under the home ribbon alignment, I'm going to click on merge cells. So what that just did is it combined cell A4 to E4, so now it's effectively one cell. But it, so that you can see it's now run, it's been cut off because that cell doesn't continue. What you can do now is on alignment, click wrap text, which it now, which, what it means is once it goes beyond the width of the cell, it then wraps to the next row. But you can't see that yet because the row is too narrow, too, uh, too short. So I'm going to move my cursor between row 4 and 5, and I'm going to drag this down so it's wide enough, or tall enough, so that that whole purpose appears. Another thing you can do is you can click into the formula bar, highlight purpose, and go control B, control U, and that makes that a little, uh, stands out a little bit more. Finally, I'll, go, I'll control B, the uh, title, and I think we're pretty much done. So there's some spreadsheet formatting rules of thumb. Maybe one last thing we can do is we can show the file path. So w one way to show the file path when this does get printed out is click on the page layout. And under page layout, you can hit this little arrow on the bottom right under the page setup grouping. And this brings up uh, this particular menu. Click on header and footer. And we want to put this in the footer, so hit, click on Custom Footer. And we'll have the uh, file path in the bottom left. So I'm going to click this icon here. You can see these are, you could insert the time, you can insert the date. There's a lot of different things that you can put in here. You can even insert a picture if you have some label for your company. But I'm going to hit Insert File Path. And so this is actually VBA code. This means that it's going to put in the path followed by the file, and I'm going to hit OK. What you should see now is a preview of what that's going to look like. So what this says is it's in Documents and Settings under My Documents in this folder, eight, counting 232B, and that's the name of the file. So if I hit Print Preview, you can see down here at the bottom is that file path, and that'll be nice whenever that prints out that people will see that. Uh, I think this is good for one day. As long as you can do this, I, I think that's a, a good start on knowing, knowing how to create a mortgage payment calculator. Aloha.